Oh wait. Is it ClickUp? Is it SmartSuite? Is it Zapier, make.com. I'm just like going to name other apps now, but like I thought of like the Apple Notes app. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have what might be a controversial take in the productivity app community, but I needed to talk about it today. Now, for those of you that have watched this channel before, I want to talk to you about this because I think it has been one of the most recurring comments I've ever gotten on the, my channel. I see a lot of different comments about how bad mobile apps are. Now, I don't disagree that mobile apps have a level of importance in some contexts. I fundamentally believe that when it comes to communication apps and things that are pretty much text-based in like a single line text sort of format, that does matter. This could be a basic note-taking app or even a basic checklist. I think the mobile functionality is decently important so you can write stuff down or whatever. But I just want to make the world know a take of mine that might be hot and I wanted to let off my chest. I don't care if a tool has a poor mobile app. I genuinely do not care, right? Like I have been talking about this in regards to Notion for a long time because a lot of people are like, oh, then the mobile app just stinks. I don't want to use a product that is a bad mobile app. Okay, find me a perfect tool, do it. Find me a perfect tool with no lag anywhere. Uh, it has no issues on the go. Do it. No, I want you to find a perfect mobile app for me. No, I want you to find a perfect project management, you know, like full desktop intended product that has a perfect mobile app. Find it. Tell me. Tell me, tell me what, which one it is. Oh, wait. Is it ClickUp? Is it SmartSuite? Is it Zapier? Make.com? I'm just like going to name other apps now, but like I thought of like the Apple Notes app, whatever basic app we're talking about. Can we get off the train of having a full-fledged productivity suite tool being considered poor if it has a bad mobile app? Like, remind me again when the general reason for the average person using a phone was to be productive. I thought the entire thing that was coming out recently was that phones are making people not productive because of the distraction that they provide. Wouldn't it be better if like there was no mobile productivity apps and then you forced yourself to go on the computer to get the work done? Am I, is that a wild take? Like, I don't, I've noticed this so often for so long and I'm like, listen, I, I appreciate where you're coming from. Like you want the experience to be good and so do I for you, do not get me wrong. But please do not make a decision about what app you're gonna use based off of the mobile app performance. If you're intending to get work done, right? You should just do it on the desktop version. And you might be saying, but what if I really want to need to get my thoughts out and want to put it onto the workspace? I completely hear you. Make an Apple shortcut and upload like an audio file to Google Drive and utilize Whisper with OpenAI's public API and have it automatically hear what you're saying and transcribe it and put it into the desktop version. Like there, there's like a $2 a month solution to the problem that you're saying. Like literally, I don't, I don't use my phone anymore. The only reason this is on my desk right now is to record a funny video about me interacting with the ChatGPT voice app functionality. Like it's, I don't use this anymore. I am the productivity app guy and I quit my phone. I hear you, I totally do. But guys, it is okay if the mobile app sucks, the desktop app is great. Just, I needed to get that out there. I wanted to, whew, I wanted to, I needed, I needed to. Cause it, it fundamentally comes down to one specific thing. If your life goal is to be productive on your phone, unless you're a TikTok influencer, please miss me with this argument. Cause you aren't tangibly using your phone for something that's conduct, uh, productive consistently, unless you're someone who's like cold calling. And if that's the case, then I also question if you're cold calling, like, are you doing it on the go without sitting at a computer and, you know, writing notes at the same time? Like, I'm just, I'm failing to find the situation where the poor mobile app truly screws you over. Cause either it's gonna be a bad mobile app experience or the basic note-taking app that you have or transferring a voice memo into notes is gonna take you some extra time but in all circumstances, it's gonna be a poor experience versus the desktop version. So let's just focus on what tool works the best overall. I've seen people make the decision that they don't wanna use Notion because the mobile app stinks. And I'm just like, whip out your laptop, wild thought. <laughs> I only say this from the context of if you're trying to be productive, we're talking about productivity apps. I feel like it's fair to judge it more on the desktop app than the mobile app. I appreciate each and every one of your thoughts. Please leave them in the comment section down below, but this is my wild take. 
on mobile productivity apps. It doesn't matter that much. But it does matter if you like this content to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out more videos like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools. Even more.